Dr. Ida Rolf received her PhD in 1920. She was a biochemist. She looked primarily at the human connective tissue system. She also looked at how the human being is organized in space. She said some very fundamental but very profound things. One, structure determines function. How something is structured in space will determine how it works. In relationship to the human being, what she was alluding to is that how we posture ourselves or how our structure is organized will determine our internal experience. It's very easily observable. When we watch children learning how to stand, learning how to walk, learning how to move, learning how to run, very often what we see are patterns that are not absolutely ideal. Something has created an imbalance, whether it be a birth trauma, whether it be a genetic situation, the accident history, the developmental process, the sense of self-identity that gets imprinted by the various factors that influence from the outside in. We develop a sense of self, that sense of self is then reflected in how we hold ourselves. When we see particularly teenagers who are standing this way, immediately conveys to us what their self-esteem is, what their self-worth is. When we look at older people who have unfortunately aberrated through accident history or life history, are no longer occupying the space efficiently and we see the patterns of distress and the consequences of that distress showing up in the elderly population. Dr. Rolf said there was something that we could do to positively alleviate that. That being, allow the connective tissue system to be released, to be reorganized so that it was no longer holding us in different patterns and positions. And we can free the restriction in the connective tissue system, but as she said, gravity becomes a therapist. Gravity becomes the energetic field which is all around us that we can now relate to as a source of nourishment if we are relating appropriately. Gravity is the therapist. Thank you.